on. <laughs> It's fine, the glass isn't broken. Hey guys, it's Brucie, and today we are talking about facial oils. If you want to learn a little bit about what facial oils can do for you, then keep on watching. All right, so what is a facial oil and what is it used for? A facial oil is generally a concentrated or a pure form of a flower, seed, or plant oil. It really hydrates and softens the first layer of your skin. So it really gives you that nice, softened, glowy, luminous appearance to the skin. It also aids in providing the skin with a number of vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids. That is generally what we want. We want our skin to glow, we want it to be luminous, we want it to be healthy and function accordingly. So in terms of usage and how often you should use a facial oil, generally oils are used at nighttime when the skin isn't producing as much oil as it does throughout the day. So we do need to kind of give it that moisture boost to help it throughout the night because the skin can't do it itself, so we need to help it. So that's where facial oils kind of come through. I would recommend using a facial oil probably every night, I would say. In terms of oily skin, during the day, you'll notice your skin produces a little bit more oil than usual than it does at nighttime. Um, so in that circumstance, I wouldn't apply a facial oil in the morning. And if you're a drier skin, so if you experience tightness or flakiness, you may actually appreciate a facial oil in the morning. However, I still recommend doing it at nighttime where your skin really, really needs that help. A facial moisturizer suited to your skin type should do the trick for the morning. Let's talk about layering. Facial oil are generally going to be the last part of your routine. Thinnest to thickest is the easiest way to remember your skincare routine. So thinner products, so your cleansers, your toners, the watery based products, finishing with of course the heavier, thicker creams and of course our beloved facial oils. In terms of makeup application, I love mixing in a facial oil with my foundation. So if you have a more mattified foundation, I love introducing a facial oil into that formula and it kind of creates like a serumy texture and gives your skin this really beautiful luminous finish so when the light hits it you obviously get that beautiful reflect on the higher points of the cheeks but also you do get that nice healthy skin glow that I think we all absolutely strive for so that's another great way to use your oils mix it in with your foundation even if you're extremely dry and you're already using a luminous foundation sometimes people just want that extra due to their overall complexion Add a facial oil, it'll save you. I'm, I'm telling you now, it's so good, such a good tip. Where does facial oil sit in with our skin types? As I was saying before, facial oils have essential fatty acids and they also have vitamins and minerals. In terms of fatty acids, there is linoleic acid and oleic acid. If you are on the oily to combination side, you're gonna really appreciate facial oils that contain high percentages of linoleic acid. If you're on the drier side, so you experience a lot of flakiness and tightness and overall a bit of texture Extra on the skin, you're gonna really appreciate oleic acid. All oils have these fatty acids within them. It's just up to you what oil you feel is gonna suit your skin type the best. Fun fact. Here we go, this is a good one. Oily skin types can tend to lack linoleic acid when they produce oil, which can lead to the skin condition of acne. So if you have excessively oily skin, you may wanna look into a facial oil that does contain a high percentage of linoleic acid to help prevent future acne breakouts or future breakouts in general. This is also not a claim, it's just something that it can help with. So there are different types of facial oils for different skin types, as I was saying before. We have your rosehip oil, which is fantastic for evening out skin tone if you've got rosacea. This is filled with omega-3s and 6s. Are my nails clean? I hope so. My nails are so dry. Let me just put some oil on my nail beds to actually help with that. Another great use for facial oil. This is a fantastic oil for you if you're wanting to even out skin tone. So think scarring, reduction, and also fueling your skin with linoleic acid to help give it the appropriate nutrients it needs to function correctly. That is what rosehip oil will do for you. I absolutely love rosehip oil. Then we have our beloved hemp seed oil. This stuff will not get you high. It'll just get your skin glowing. It is so, so beneficial for pretty much every skin type. However, again, it's got that high percentage of linoleic acid fantastic for balancing the skin. If you are on the sensitive side, hemp seed oil will be your best friend. It's great for soothing the skin. Another fun fact about hemp seed oil is that it's full with protein, so it really is great for strengthening the skin's barrier and giving you that really nice strong barrier 
that's what I just said. Hemp seed oil is fantastic for really repairing the skin and giving you that overall dewy finish without feeling heavy on the skin. So that's what I would recommend for everybody is hemp seed oil. So let's talk about argan oil. Argan oil from The Ordinary, I love this one. This is a very affordable way to introduce facial oils into your routine. It is a very good oil for repairing the skin as well as smoothing out dry skin type. So if you, again, get that flakiness or you're wanting something that sits beautifully under makeup, argan oil will be your best friend. Pros and cons of facial oils and some common mistakes. Let's talk about it. Pros, obviously facial oils are fantastic for really building and strengthening your skin's barrier. If your skin's extremely unbalanced, so it's uh, on the drier side or incredibly oily, oils can actually really help balance your skin all back up again and give you that nice healthy glow and help your skin to feel comfortable again. In terms of common mistakes and cons, I would say facial oils are never gonna be a con unless you use the wrong oil for you. So for example, if you are on the oilier side and you use a facial oil such as like olive oil, you're not gonna have the best time and the most luxurious experience using a facial oil because it will congest the skin and it won't feel very comfortable on your skin. You're gonna notice that heavy texture, the heavy consistency, and it's just not gonna be fun. So we don't want that. Another con I would say is using them in the wrong part of your routine. So I understand skincare routines can get very, very confusing. If you use your facial oil at the start of your routine and apply everything on top, you're not going to notice the benefits or you're going to notice that it's going to be an uncomfortable experience. So definitely, definitely only apply it at the end of your routine. Okay, let's talk about my personal favorite facial oils. I was just talking about them then actually. I love, love, love rosehip as I was saying before. This is the Biology Organic Rosehip Oil because this is an unrefined rosehip oil it does have the ability to really mimic the skin's natural sebum it also helps with healthy skin cell turnover so again allowing the healthier skin cells to sit on top so I absolutely really love rosehip oil I think it's brilliant if you've got uneven skin tones or you're wanting to really kind of even out any scars or dark spots or anything that might be causing your skin to look a little bit on the uneven side gives you that nice luminous finish Plus, it's a great one for all skin types, especially oilier skin. My other favorite oil is hemp seed oil. This one is by Salt by Hendrix. This is their Glow Town facial oil, the hemp seed oil, and it's fantastic. Sorry, my label has worn off there. This is so universal for so many different skin types. I think it's 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 a number one product for me. Although it doesn't claim that, a lot of people have found that it is very beneficial for uh, psoriasis, dermatitis, extreme skin conditions on the drier side, if that makes sense. So this is a fantastic one if you're after that really nice balancing facial oil that's going to leave your skin not too oily, not too dry, as if it didn't do anything for you. It's just going to leave your skin nice and balanced in the middle to where your skin can function correctly. I think I say that a lot, function correctly. I guess that is very common with facial oils. It is all about allowing your skin to kind of act and behave its best. That's what I love about hemp seed oil. Plus it has the proteins in there to help strengthen up your skin's barrier. Especially if you are using a lot of artificial heat or cooling, it's a great one to help restore and keep your skin skin's moisture barrier very well balanced. And argan oil. The Ordinary Argan Oil. This is a great price point. I think this is a very nice way to start your facial oil routine. They have a number of different oils. I think they have marula oil. I don't know if they do, but this is another good one too. Jehova Oil, which is another skin mimicking uh, facial oil that'll be fantastic for oilier skin types or combination skin types. As I was saying, The Ordinary have a great bunch of facial oils. This is a cold pressed facial oil as you can see it's very smoothing and immediately adds that hydration to the skin I also love using them on my hair because it does add that nice shine um, as well as that moisture boost and smoothing agent to this uh, to the hair so great for reducing frizz which I get a lot of healing as well argan oil is fantastic for healing the skin so if you do have sensitive skin it's a great one for that so there you go guys that is everything that you need to know about about facial oils obviously there are so many other oils out there that you can try there is marula oil there's camellia seed oil we also have essential oils that are really good and you've also got treatment oils there are so many on the market it's definitely hard to pick which ones for you it is a little bit about trial and error but if you can find
find ones that are definitely dedicated to your skin type, I think you're gonna have a really good time and you're really going to enjoy the experience of a facial oil. So thank you so much for watching. As always, hit the like button down below if you wanna see more videos like this one. And um, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.